What's going on guys, Philip Atreid Genius. All right, Bitcoin breaking out, still in this parabolic move. Most everybody's looking at all time highs here thinking that's probably gonna be where we're headed. But you wanna be careful up here uh, as far as when you're getting long, you know, especially if you're just short term swing trading and you have your stops too tight. I'm gonna tell you why in this video. And we're also gonna take a look at some more detailed levels here. So let's dive into it. Trade Genius. Guys, really quickly, just a reminder, we have our specials running at tradegenius.co. So if you want to get in the room with us, uh, $3.99, that, that'll get you into the room with us and get you the crypto binary stock ETF signals. And you can also chat with us. Also, the indicators I'm going to show you in this video will be available in these packages, or you can get them also in our store under indicators. And you can use the code Thanksgiving for 40% off to do that. All right, let's dive into the video here. So again, uh, we are actually at a FIB extension level at $16,400. So at FIB extensions, that's the Fibonacci retracement extension, look for price to hit a speed bump on those, especially when they come from larger levels. That's where we're at. Now, everyone thinks we must be ready to bust through all-time highs here. I mean, what's in front of us? What's left? We've only had a weekly close higher than where we're at today. We've only had one weekly close in the history of Bitcoin higher than where we're at today. And that was up at the all time highs. Because prior to that, we then had weekly closes under that and a weekly close here at 16,145. So technically at this point, only one higher weekly close. So we'll see how this candle closes, but that's pretty bullish. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the crypto fear and greed indicator. We are at very high readings here. Um, some of the highest in history uh, right now. Uh, we put in a 90 the other day, we dropped a little bit on the pullback. Uh, so, you know, already you could see where a reading of 90 gave us a little bit of resistance. Uh, we're at 87. I suspect we're going to be at 90 plus. If you look at prior times that we were this high and, and keep in mind in the history of this thing, I mean, usually when you're over 70, you run into resistance. Uh, 80s, you're running into resistance. 90s, that's that's extreme. We're at a 95. We were at a 95 June 26, 2019. So what that looks like is if we go back to the daily chart. July 20, uh, July uh, 26, see here, look at this area, July 25th, 26, right at the highs. And then we came off quite a bit. Uh, from there, if we take a measured move, you know, that was a 26% pullback. You know, Bitcoin, you understand, is, is prone to those types of, of pullbacks, that size of pullback. And <clears throat> if you look at the crypto fear and or, um, the cyclical chart, right? So this is where we measure against the predictive price movement based on what we did on the prior uh, halving cycles. You pick a point in time, it compares where price is compared to where we were in the, in the halving cycle, and then models it out, right? And we are right on track for 300,000 still. And if we zoom in, you'll see that we're, we're within, you know, 500 bucks of the actual price versus the price end of day. Uh, that would be predicted price end of day. So we're doing actually a little bit better. But you also notice we in, in this time period, there's a there's a move up and typically a, a pullback, and then we grind into the rest of the year higher. And so I think we're we're doing the the move up part, but be careful because I think the crypto fear and greed can be a heads up that hey we do have an incoming move. Um, you know, in this particular case, if we follow this model, they were expecting, the model's expecting, you know, 18,100 down to uh, 12,500. So, you know, if we saw something similar um, to that move, then we could look at it as uh, like, just call it uh, right here, um, you know, pull back to, you know, 12,000 and change. You know, that's be like a 30% move. Uh, totally normal for Bitcoin, especially when it's going parabolic. So just be careful if you guys are, are swinging long um, and, uh, you know, just in your short term trading, uh, be careful uh, because these can actually produce pretty, pretty wide moves. If you're looking to buy a pullback, just know that that's probably uh, coming and, and a, a size move 20 to 30 percent is completely normal from these levels. All right. So just remember that. But that's what I wanted to point out in this video. Um, as far as the daily uh, levels that are in play, you really have to go back to what happened over here. And I will point out this level here uh, where we had these tops. You know, this was pretty stout resistance here, 17,125. I'm going to say that a good chance there's stops up here. And what will happen is we might see a move up to this level and then back in. 
Okay. Not that that would end the move, but I think don't be surprised if you see that. You know, Bitcoin tends to surprise people. Uh, we could come back in from that level and then blow through the all-time highs and really spike above it in a final blow-off move. That would be very Bitcoin-esque. And then we see that move come in a whole bunch. But even if we do pull in that 20, 30%, let's say we do come down to 12,000. I mean, that would, if that's the extent of the pullback, and now we're establishing a base at 12,000 going into this having run into the rest of the year, my goodness, that's, that's really bullish stuff. So I think all in all, this is all great, all bullish. Just keep in mind where we're at with the fear and greed, 20, 30% pullback, perfectly normal. And then that sets us up for a nice December rally. All right. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Also, um, if you take a look, one last thing I'll leave you guys with is our multi time frame indicator. If you sign up between now and the end of November, we're going to throw this in. We haven't released this indicator yet. But if you notice, it measures, uh, all, you know, basically when's a good time to get into the move on a trend, uh, when you should be careful or get out or short, and then also the strength of it. And if you notice back uh, our prior high that we made here at uh, near 16,000, we had a reading of, 318 and we're only at 107 or so so it's not that we're at, at extreme readings on that we are at the crypto fear and greed so just keep in mind we might see some sporadic pullbacks i think we were at a 90 here at crypto fear and greed and we had a pullback of uh from 16,100 all the way down to 15,600 so you know you know four five hundred to a thousand dollar pullback wouldn't end the move but could be expected because we're pushing up to those extreme levels. All right. So I hope that helps. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Trade Genius.